you're hoping for sting video. So, I hate to be the bearer of good news, but that's exactly what I am attempting to do here today. Ballistis Apaches. Oh, look at that stinger. Polistes apachus, the Texas paper wasp. Now, Polistes apachus is a close cousin to the executioner wasp. They are in the same genus. Now, the executioner wasp has widely been regarded as one of the most painfully stinging insects in the world. And I'm interested to see if this close cousin can live up to the family name. All right, everybody, and welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, as I'm sure you can see, I have my net. And I'm sure you're hoping for sting video. So, I hate to be the bearer of good news, but that's exactly what I am attempting to do here today. Now, I'm on the hunt for a very cool looking wasp. Beautiful golds and reds. Today, I'm looking for the Texas paper wasp, or Polistes apachus. And these are one of my all-time favorite species of paper wasps to find here in the Lone Star State. So I'm going to poke around. It's uh, almost 1.30 on a hot August day. So it is nice and toasty out here, but that is prime time for these paper wasps. They are out in the afternoon, heat of the day, flying around looking for prey, looking for small insects to bring back to their nests. So hopefully I can catch one while it's buzzing around and hopefully we can get a sting video. Let's go. It didn't take long before I spotted our target. All right, check this out. Right here in this net, it's exactly what I was hoping to grab. Now, although quite, quite a bit smaller than the executioner wasp, this is a close relative and should still pack quite the punch. Well, we're gonna move over to the shade so we can get out of this blistering sun so that we can show you all just how painful this lovely Texas executioner, if you will, lovely Texas paper wasp. We're gonna see how bad it stings. Let's check it out. All right, here's our lovely little, oh, easy, beautiful Texas paper wasp. You can see those kinds of red and golds are very reminiscent of the executioner. Now, a lot of people have disdain for wasps in their heart, which I think is a shame because although they're not as effective pollinators as bees, they still pollinate quite a lot of different types of plants. And these paper wasps are also additionally really useful for managing certain pest species, like certain species of caterpillars and things like that. So they are critical members in the ecosystems to which they belong. Not to mention, the colors are just beautiful. Look at this. Absolutely spectacular little wasp. So let's see what this little Texas executioner, this little Texas paper wasp, can do, shall we? Absolutely gorgeous, really, really nice wasp. Look at that cute little face, a cute little punum. Let's take a look. Here we are, spectacular Texas paper wasp, Polistes apachus. Oh, look at that stinger. Yowza! Come on. All right, it pumped in one load and now it's pumping in another load of venom. You can feel that going through. Oh, that was pretty good. Let's try again. You got another sting in you? Look at that stinger. See how it just sticks into the skin and that's kind of barbed? Really impressive. Very nice stinger on these wasps. Ooh, oochie. You can see where that initial stinger went through. 
not not as bad as some of the other polysties uh, that I've taken. It's actually starting to get a little more painful now, more painful than the initial sting. Um, not quite as not quite the sting I was expecting. Um, I think Polistes metricus so far is one of the worst Polistes stings that I have taken. Um, and I took that one actually fairly recently. Behind that would probably be uh, Polistes carolina, the red paper wasp. But this was actually a pretty good sting. You can see here, it's already kind of getting a little tight. It's painful to touch it. And this is, uh, like I said, not, not the largest paper wasp you can really run into, but uh, a really nice one. Really pretty, in my opinion. I like those lighter colors over some of the really dark stuff like Metricus or Annularis and things like that. But they're really cute. Pretty painful, um, but pretty comparable to the other polysties. Kind of like a hot needle getting stuck into your skin. Not the worst pain in the world, but uh, certainly not the best feeling in the world. But really, really interesting little wasps. Now, once again, these are critical members of the ecosystems they inhabit. Uh, whether they're food for other animals or whether they are preying and keeping other species of animals in check, uh, they do have a purpose. They do have a role. They're not just out to sting you and be mean. Um, in fact, I wouldn't even call any of these wasps aggressive. Uh, I would call them defensive because really the only time you're actually getting stung is when the wasps or hornets feel that their nests, that their babies, their larvae, and that their lives are threatened by you as a predator. And the reason why these stings hurt us so much, you can see here, all those little bumps were where the stinger went in. And the reason why these stings hurt us is because mammals are one of the primary predators of these insects. So they've developed that painful sting to help deter mammals, much like myself, from eating their larva and their pupa. So they're perfectly designed to protect themselves and their nests against mammals. But this was a really interesting little test. You can see again, a little raised, not quite the reaction that we normally get from polystes. Maybe this was an older individual. The wings look a little tattered, um, but still should have been able to deliver quite the sting Still an impressive sting for sure. Still something that really hurts, but uh, not something that I would say, not something that I would say is uh, exceptionally painful. It's kind of like uh, if I had to compare it to everything else, I don't know, maybe like a mild yellow jacket. Uh, whereas most polysties, I usually rank above yellow jackets because they're really nasty. But thank you so much for helping us little kiss on the head. Slides right off. See, once again, it has no reason to sting me, again, at least, without me making it. Um, so, wasps are just nice. They're sweet. They're kind. They just look out for themselves and their own. But can we say any different for anything else? But take one more look. You can see definitely some inflammation, definitely some little raised areas. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy. Um, and in fact, the more polystes stings I take, the less I think that polystes carnifex, the executioner wasp, is actually the most painful stinging insect on the planet. Um, after receiving a sting from Vespa tropica, the um, greater banded hornet in Thailand, um, that's still my most painful hymenopteran sting, my most painful wasp or hornet sting, because they're gigantic. And the Asian giant hornet is a good 30, 50% larger than the banded hornet. So I have to imagine that the Asian giant hornet beats every other stinging insect. I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care what anybody else has done. I will be testing both when I can, but I just feel, I can't imagine that little polistes any polistes could compete with, you know, two inch Vespa mandarinia gigantic Asian hornet. Doesn't make sense to me. Does it make sense to you? One more time, we'll take a look at this. I'm gonna keep updating as it goes along, but I have to imagine that this whole little area is gonna get a little more pink, red and tender, and then this is kinda gonna go away. It's gonna be itchy tomorrow, and I'm thinking by day three, 
No problemo. So be sure to stick around for the effects and we'll see if Polistes Apachus earns itself a name on my lofty sting index, which I have not made or articulated. Um, but so far, not super impressed. It was definitely interesting. Honestly, I would say it was comparable to like maybe the harvester ant stings, which are really nasty ant stings, but they don't really compete with the larger wasps. So be sure to stick around for the updates as we go along, because I've gotten very sweaty filming this video for you all. And I was really interested to test the sting of this beautiful species, the Texas paper wasp. Here we are like, I don't know, 10 minutes after. You can see those super defined little spots are kind of going away. And I don't think much else is gonna happen. Like I said, I think tomorrow my arm might be a little pink and itchy, but I think it'll almost disappear today, itch tomorrow and be done. Well, take a look. Uh, this is, I don't know, two days since I got the sting. It's a little itchy, whatever. It's fine. <sighs> Nothing. So, once again, I'm left wanting for the most painful stinging insect on the planet. Perhaps we'll have to up the ante and try and get somewhere with something that can sting really hard. So, sadly, the Texas Executioner, Polistes Apachus, no dice. Not very bad. But I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you learned that wasps are neat, interesting little creatures that mean you no harm. But thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any new posts or videos. Join our channel memberships for exclusive behind-the-scenes content. Buy the new merchandise. And above all else... Be sure to tune in next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.